<sighs> What's up, guys? Um, I hope you guys can't hear my music. Um, but the other day, I was watching. I was on YouTube. I was watching videos, and I came across um, uh, "What Shall We Do Next?" His name's Mike, um, and. Uh, he does, like, creepy stories and, and all that stuff. Well, uh, I guess a couple years ago, uh, he got kind of big by calling, uh, like, Booth World Industries and the SCP Foundation and all that stuff. Well, he is apparently back at it again. And, uh, he called a, an asylum, uh, an insane asylum, I guess, uh, that's abandoned. I can't remember exactly where they said it was, but the place is called Bradley's Institution or something like that. Um, and that kind of got me thinking a little bit. And I love making prank phone calls. Uh, you know, I've done it a million times, especially growing up. Uh, you know, it, it's uh, really no harm, no foul. You know, I mean, I'm not crazy. I, I don't sit there and say, oh, you know, I'm, I'm going to sneak in your house and kill you, blah, blah, blah. You know, it's, and, and normally before I hang up the phone, I'm like, ah, this is a prank. Ha ha, I got you. And I hang up. You know, I block my number. I, you know, I don't, I don't, you know, I'm not going to sit there and say, oh yeah, your child is uh, uh, abducted and, you know, I, I need ransom money and just let him go like that. You know, uh, I have called people and I have said that. Um, but at the end I'm like, ah, this is a prank. Your child's fine. You know, I, I don't even know your child. I don't even know if you have a child, you know, th this is a prank. Ha uh ha, -huh. I hope, uh, you know, I hope you have a good day, you know, and I hang up. Um, <laughs> some people get pissed off, some people's like, ah, oh, okay, you know, yeah, you're a dumb kid. But, uh, again, that get me thinking, because I seen him call this place the other day. And it was really weird, because this place is abandoned, nobody's supposed to be there, and all that shit. But he still got an answering machine, and he was still able to leave a message. So, I want to do it. <laughs> um, I hope that's not my fiancé coming home, not yet. Um, I, I, what's really funny is I actually have... The Booth World Industries number. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it says Booth World Industries. I'm sure you can kind of see it. Uh, let me see if I can find it. Oh, okay, here it is. The cre I put it down as the Creepy Asylum number. But that is it right there. I know it's I know it's blurry and all that shit. I took that number down to SCP Foundation. And their number is it's obvious it's out of Chicago or not Chicago, it's out of um California. And it's area code nine five one five seven two Two six zero two, and there was another one. Oh, this is the one with the girl out of Texas. Supposedly, a girl out of Texas, um, like killed herself or something like that. And it, supposedly, if you call this number. Um, 
she knows your name uh, and all that stuff. And um, uh, or no, wait, no, I'm sorry. That I think that one turned out to be fake. I think that one turned out to be fake. I'll have to look that video back up just to make sure. Uh, but I have, I, I actually have that number. I'm not going to give it out because I don't want anybody, you know, you know, calling somebody else, you know, obviously. But the one number, he got a bunch of numbers on the answering machine or, or the, the guy or somebody answered and it was a bunch of numbers and it was weird as hell. Um, and whenever I actually typed those numbers into my phone it actually came up as a new number um let me see if it's actually in my because I, I i remember looking it up on on my or like online on google uh yeah 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 i got it it's um uh it came out the number to be actually one one three one seven one one three one seven. Now, if you type it into your phone, obviously it comes out as enough for a phone number, which is very strange. Um, and I looked it up, and it's nothing. It's 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 absolutely nothing, but. It's creepy. It's creepy shit. <laughs> Anyways, for some reason it comes up looking like that. For some reason it comes up looking like that, but it is an actual phone number. Uh, I, I don't know. I'm not going to call it yet. Uh, I'm actually not going to call using my regular phone number. I actually got a text now app. Or the, the text now app. And that is what I'm going to use because I am going to call <clears throat> that asylum number because I'm curious. I want to know. I got it under creepy asylum number. That's right. Okay. So that is the number right there. It's a little blurry. But I am going to call, <laughs> and we're going to see what happens. Call. Okay, so it still works, um, and I don't know why it still has, like, the creepy, uh, like, circus music on it. That's really weird. <laughs> I'm gonna call it again. <laughs> <coughs> Dr. Mercer, directly. If you're a new patient looking for treatment, then welcome. We offer the latest 
Hi, um, I'm having symptoms of, I guess, uh, losing my mind. Uh, I'm feeling a little, a little crazy, I guess. Um, and I would like to check myself in. Um, if you can give me a call back so I can figure out how to do that, that'd be great. Uh, thank you. Bye. Have a good day. Okay, um, so, <laughs> yeah, that's really creepy, um, I don't know why they still have the number up, if it is an, uh, abandoned insane asylum, um, it's, it's kind of weird. But I will actually, <clears throat> I don't know if, if you guys didn't see uh, the uh, What Shall We Do Next, uh, you know, Mike's um, video of that. I'll put it, you know, I'll put the link in the description. I actually said that I would tag it, like, I would actually put my video in his and his stuff so but yeah that was just me being a little bit goofy tonight so uh, uh, if you guys want to see me you know do more videos like that let me know because <laughs> that's fun I love doing shit like that like the creepy numbers like send me creepy numbers and I will call them because that is fun to me <laughs> and um you know, anything that has, like, a cursed number and all that shit, let me, you know, let me know and send it to me. Uh, yeah, it's, it's just, uh, I like doing stuff like that. Uh, you know, it's a, a thrill, I guess, you know, uh, uh, just because you don't know if it's actually real or not, and me, I gotta see it to believe it because of, you know, my background and what I'm, you know, basically what I'm actually capable of doing, uh, and all that since I, you know, I am a sensitive and all that shit, so I, I also, you know, I have to go into it a little bit more in depth than everybody else to actually see if it's true or not. Now, obviously, if it's true, that sucks, you know? <laughs> It sucks, so I'm going to be cursed and shit's going to come after me. But if it's not true, which probably 99.99999% of it is not true, it is what it is. So, anyways, I'll talk to you guys later. Have a good night. Stay scary.